Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a video, but there's a lot of hullabaloo right now about the origins of the last known photo of Abigail Williams walking on the Monon High Bridge. On February 13th, 2017, Liberty German and Abigail Williams were reported missing when they didn't show up to their designated pickup spot at the historic trails in Delphi. That evening, Friends of the girls helped with search efforts by screenshotting and sharing the last known Snapchat story that Libby sent out earlier that day. It was an image of Abby walking across Highbridge. Snapchat stories do not show an exact time, but they do show an estimation of how much time has passed since uploaded to the user's story. I'm hoping to help clear up some of the confusion on this, so I'd like to show an interview with Erica Gibson, a dear friend of the girls, and one of the kids who screenshotted that Snapchat story to help with locating them. Abby and Libby posted pictures to Snapchat and seemed to be having a good time. The Snapchat app erases pictures soon after they're viewed by friends, but at least one friend, Erica, took a screenshot on her phone. A quick, easy way to hack the app. It was a happy photo at first. It was, it was them having a fun day, and I didn't think anything bad of it. As we can see in Erica's screenshot, the Snapchat was sent out about seven hours before the screenshot was taken. Erica had shared that she took the screenshot around 9 p.m., which would line up with the time that the girls were on the bridge. Claims that this image was photoshopped have led followers of this case to implicate many innocent people, including family members who are also victims and survivors of this heinous double murder of two teen girls. Not only that, it may implicate another teen girl who openly and bravely shared with us how she retrieved this image. To claim it was photoshopped is to claim that this brave young lady is lying to us all, in worst case, that she may be somehow involved. Conspiracy theories left unchecked can be harmful to people and even to entire groups of people, like friends and family of murder victims. When making a claim, one should support that claim with empirical evidence, and that evidence should align with the claim by the use of sound logic. So that's all I've got for you today. I am working on a couple videos that I hope to get out soon. One is about Richard Allen and what we know thus far, and I'm also working on another video for an MMIW case. So I do hope to get those out to you guys soon. I hope everyone is doing well and has a good weekend. And of course, let's all try to remember to consider logic as well as ethics and compassion when we're following and covering these true crime cases.